I'm Demanian. Welcome to my Mac. Um, this is a uh, Mac apps video number three. We're going to be going through Desktop Manager, one of my favorite personal preference apps. And I'll show you how to get it real quick. Open up Firefox or Safari, whatever you're using. Just uh, Google Desktop Manager. Only reason I'm showing you this is because I had problems with it. You have all these Blackberry ones that pop up. And then you have the download desktop manager for Mac, which is what you would think that you click on. But that's actually an update. As you can see down here, it says Mac update. We're going to go down to this one and click on it, softpedia.com. Then you click download right here. And then you want to click on softpedia secure download US. It will download. You go down in your downloads file, your stacks, or wherever you have your downloads at. You can open it up. Mine is right there. Um, I have it in my applications folder, so I'm going to open it up. This is what it looks like, desktop manager. When you open it up, you'll see up here I have two little boxes. They're short for desktops. Um, you got switch to next desktop. Switch to previous desktop. What desktop manager is, it just lets you manage your desktops, just like Spaces. Um, and it does uh, work with Spaces. Switch to previous, you got your desktops. I have six of them here. So I'll show you one thing. If I'm in the seventh one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I'm in the seventh space, it, it won't work. Okay, because I only have six of them. So I have to be in the sixth one, and then it will work. So you can add more, you can add up to nine. It just quit on me. I don't know why it quit on me. Open it up again. Never had this problem before. I think it's just because I'm running the QuickTime X video recording. Quit on me again. Anyways, um, you can run an application or you can quit it. We're going to go into preferences. I'm going to show you how to use the preferences. You got your hotkeys tab up here, you have desktop navigation. Switch to next desktop minus command right, so hold down command right. Command left is previous desktop, which is right there. You can just click on it twice to change it, and then hold down the commands like command shift right to change it. And I like command left. And go to desktop one, two, and as I told you before, you can have up to nine. So there's up to nine on there, and I just have the command and the number, so I'm going to command nine will not work, eight will not work. 7 will not work, but I'll go 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now we're in 5. Um, you also got the window manipulation. You can move window to next desktop. Command W. And you got uh, Command Shift W. Move it to the previous desktop. Show operations window. Command O. This is my it shows you the whole window. And you quit on me again. Which is awesome. Because that's what I want all my applications to do is quit on me all the time. But like I said before, I've never had this problem before. If it continues, uh, I'll just delete the video from YouTube. Because then it's stupid and I'll have to find another one. Because there are other applications that do this as well. Um, second tab is desktops. You got the switch bezel, show notification when switching between desktops, which is what you see right here in the middle. And the two little boxes that are white. You can see it's right there. It says media. It's the media one. I showed you before I got my different desktops, media and stuff. And this is my media one. I'm going to open up my preferences. You can add new desktops, you can delete desktops. I got a new desktop, I can delete it. I told you you can add up to nine. So I got that's number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 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 oh. So you can put a lot on there, guys. So you can put as many on there as you want, it looks like. I'm not sure how many. 
gonna let you put on there. Looks like you can have a lot. hotkeys you just have to go in there and I don't know what you'd have to do it only lets you go to nine so that's how to add and delete different desktops you can do that later but you can center mouse pointer after switch which is after I switch it'll put it in the center I'll show you that real quick it puts it in the center right there cursors on the right now if you in the center you can change the effect we got cross fade Take the center off, that's annoying. We got zoom. We got reveal. That's reveal. We got slide. We got warp and fade. Swap over. Pretty cool. Cube effect is one I already showed you. We got warp. We can change the duration of each one. We can make it really long. We got random. It's taking a long time as you can see. We got it on long. Keep mine real short. Collect all windows on the one desktop on exit. So when I exit this, it'll put all my windows that I have open on that one desktop. You can active edges. Switch desktop when mouse moves to desktop edges, which is what I have activated right now. Switch this back to cube effect. You can make the, the, the duration of that one longer or shorter. It takes longer, I'll hit it. It's going to take a while before it does it, and then it finally does it. Okay, I like that short as well. You can move mouse pointer to opposite side of the screen. So if I hit the right, if my cursor is on the right, and I hit the right side of the screen, it'll end up on the left on the next desktop. So it's over here on the left now. And hit the left and it's on the right. I don't like that either. Pager, which is right here. Shows all my different desktops. Let's you just click on one. To get there. I don't know why it didn't show up on the other one. You got automatically hide pager. Show desktop names in the pager. Get them away. Shows the names up there. New desktop, new desktop, new media, email, work. That didn't seem to work either. Uh, I don't like it there, so I'm going to hide it. Um, also, what you can do is change where you put it at left. Put it on the bottom middle. Change the pager size, bigger, small. You can change the rows in each one. You can make Lower. I'm not sure what this is. Can reset all the default options. You got name, display, show current desktop name on the screen. Um, where you want it to show, it'll show up there on the top left. Not showing that either. And then you got. Um, status bar show pager in the status bar puts it up here it looks pretty ugly it is kind of convenient switching between them show icon on left pager right there on the left side of them I don't like it there so I'll move it from the status bar and that is a tutorial showing you how to use desktop manager and how to get it so comment subscribe let me know how you like the video if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And here are links for video one, two, and video four, which is uh, this aperture. It'll be a short video. It's a pretty cool miniature application that I use. So check it out.